everybody welcome or welcome back today i'm going to show you my merchandises but it's going to be a little bit long so bear with me i'm already wearing a few of my merchandises so it will be easier for me to present it to you and we're just going to start right away i'm going to start with the figurines that i have and i think i'm going to show you the one that i already uh, have in the thumbnail this is a Neffler pillow. I use it every day since I got it to sleep. I got it from an event in Indonesia. It's called Nobar, Nonton Barang. But I don't know what it's called in English. So I'm just going to say it's Nobar. So it's an event where we watch together uh, as a community. Another fluffy thing is Dobby that I got for my birthday last year. The Funko Pops. I bought John and Danny from Barnes & Noble in 2015 at a very cheap price. Side note, I do not ship them together but I do love them separately. This one I got a day earlier from those two but I got it from Hot Topic. Another Funko is from Harry Potter which is Bellatrix Lestrange. When I choose a Funko, I absolutely will look at the details as well because I think that's what makes a Funko valuable to me. So as you can see, she has all the details, the ones, the wardrobe, the heels, and the curliness, even the nail polish and down to the sleeve ring, and yeah. She's just gorgeous, even the redness around her eyes. I got this from Indonesia Comic Con 2017. The last Funko is my favorite Funko so far. I got this from two years ago, also from Indonesia Comic Con. And like I said, I love details in Funko Pop and look at her puke. It's just awesome and the back of it is like this. It's usually a list of character, but this one is a little bit different. Regan is the only Funko Pop in my shelf to have green eyes. I just think that she's the coolest. I can't even tell you how how amazed I am with Regan Funko Pop because she, isn't she the cutest though? Like, I'm sorry, I'm fangirling. It's a bonus from a magazine and it has cat hair all over it. Sadly, it fell once. It fell really hard. It broke. Harry no longer has glasses and the one is also broken but I don't want to touch it. So his Harry holding a Quidditch ball. This Harry Potter set I got from my friend in middle school. <laughs> but sadly, I'm not really good at taking care of my stuffs and you see Harry has no hand. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I also have this mini Funko Pop. It's a keychain Funko Pop, a Castile Funko Pop from Supernatural. This tiny baby is Robin from Batman. It's actually a mystery figure, so I didn't know that I would be getting this. The last of the figurine is this paper craft. I don't know how you call it, but it's a sort of a DIY craft. This is Thomas from The Maze Runner. Sorry, Thomas wasn't the last of the figurine, but they are. If you remember, in Indonesia, McDonald's uh, had a collaboration with Adventure Time. They released a set of Adventure Time toys. I got Marceline and Bimo because I love Marceline personally and Bimo is just cute. Marceline can play music, so... Let's see. You actually can't really play Bimo, but you can change the expressions. They have a stack of expressions. But I always use this smiley face because, you know, we gotta light up the room with his smile. Moving on to art, but not poster because I don't really like poster. But this one though is a very cool poster because this is wooden. I never have a wooden poster before, that's why I'm really happy to have it. And this is, again, a souvenir. I made this when I was in high school for school project and this is Joffrey from Game of Thrones with a quote from the Hound, Fuck the King. A Firebolt replica. This was a bonus from a magazine. Look at that. Look at how legit. It's not plastic material, so it feels good in your hand. I also got Newt Commander Swan. This is a souvenir. If that one was a replica, I have my own one here. This is my beloved. I really would die if I lost it or if I break it because it's perfect. I don't have any other word for it. It's perfect for me because 
it, it was actually brown but I painted black so I like it even more and it has leather on the handle and a little bit of green here like if you can see and the shape of it can you see how marvelous how beautiful how curvy <laughs> it is and it just fits in my hand so well see it i love you i bought it from kontong sihir and they don't make replicas but their own one design if you want to know who whose one this is it's mine it's not from the harry potter characters this glass jar is a souvenir malark's bakery mug jar if you remember pita malark from the hunger games came from a baker family i never use this though because i don't want to ruin it i did use this one and as you can see it's bent this is why you shouldn't use the things that you love especially if you're like me where you just crush things around and actually not my fault though my brother used this and somehow it became like this i don't even know what he did but what's done is done it's a replica sort of from the hunger games where Hamish sent katniss a tumbler to drink and he had a note here stay alive and that was the cutest little shit i've ever received in my life but it was used it was washed and it got wet so sad don't use the things that you love in the box here is where i keep my small things so we're going to unbox this box in this pouch i keep my pins they're not all merchandise but the first one is a voltruckle I feel that this is cute because in the next Fantastic Beast movie, I plan to wear it on my pocket. These two are not merchandise related, but magic related. So I might just show you. I got this from Bangkok and this one from a mall in Jakarta. Next is a special one. My friend gave it to me when we were in elementary school because she know that I'm crazy about Harry Potter. She got it from I think the Warner Bros. Museum in London. Ta-da! It looks great, isn't it? And it's the size of an actual snitch. It also came with a sticker book. This. Da -da 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 -da. My first birdie box. This is, I believe, a candle wax stamp. Yeah, this is Hogwarts candle wax stamp. This one though, it's very cool. It's a Valeria coin, Valer Morgulis Valer Doheris. It's an actual metal. A luggage tag from Indo Hunger Games. It's a souvenir. And I love that they say it's Panem Citizen. I love merchandises that make you feel like you're a part of the book. A bunch of lanyard, lanyard, lanyard. I don't know how to say it. This is Catching Fire, uh, Hogwarts Moto, Draco Nunquam Tito, Draco Dormiens Nunquam Titelandus, sorry. And a slither in lanyard. A Maze Runner keychain and a bottle opener as well. A Wizarding World, a magnet and bottle opener. I'm going to show you a few tattoos. We have Colin Crest tattoo. A uh, Death Eater tattoo and a Dumpless tattoo. I never used any of this because, well, if I use this, then I will say goodbye to it forever, right? So I don't want to lose it. Moving on to the stickers, these are the factions of the Divergent series Mortal Instruments Indonesia, a Suicide Squad. Guardians of the Galaxy sticker. I don't really like this one, but whatever. A mini Thor sticker. Look at how fierce this little guy is. Papers, papers, papers. This is a bonus from Peculiar Children box set. I just feel like this is one of the coolest things I've ever got. And it has sort of like autographs. They're autographs. I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Pretty much like that. And I'm sorry if it's too fast. A Valentine paper, because this is clearly paper, not card, from from Dare, no, Deadpool. I almost say Daredevil. 
a collectible card from a cereal I got Iron Spider this is a map of the town from 13 Reasons Why a postcard from Newt Hogwarts school anthem a replica of Marauder's map it's not really a replica but close and you're not a Harry Potter fan if you do not have the letter this is only half one page which is the invitation but it was enough to make me happy this little blue one is also my favorite because like I said before I love merchandises that make you feel like a part of the, the world or the book it's a Ministry of Magic employee identity card it goes like this fun thing is... wait, where is it? where is it? fun thing is I got Ministry of Magic Ministry of Magic Imani, where the back of it is my identity. So yeah, it's like this. Isn't it fun? Next, accessories. This one is a Mockingjay from The Hunger Games. This is not real leather, but it has the leather feel. Mockingjay Squat. Another favorite from the maze runner it says the property of wicked i love this because it's not your usual bracelet it's made of fabric rune bracelet from the mortal instruments i got it a long time ago and i actually lost one of the charm but these are the runes i don't really use it because i'm afraid i might lose another charm and it will become a bald charm bracelet a doctor who bangle it's cool. This is my only metal bangle. Although I'm embarrassed to say it to you guys, but I haven't finished season one yet. And I stopped watching it since 2016. Now it's the earrings. I hope you can see, but this is a pentagram ring. I'm afraid to get too close to the camera. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay right here. It's a pentagram, a simple pentagram. I bought it as a supernatural merchandise. As you can see, I've been wearing a time turner ever since I started this video and it spins. I'm going to show you more details. It has a little engraving on this. I hope you can see it. I have Clockwork Angel from Infernal Devices. The detail is fine. Next one is going to be matching with my earring. This one is an anti possession necklace from Supernatural. Now this is a masterpiece. Like, do you remember how iconic this was? Last of it is a pentagram patch. A pentagram, like my earring. We're done with everything pretty and presentable. Now we're moving on to something more practical. And what is more practical and bookish than a bookmark? These are from magazines and clearly Harry Potter. Never really used this, actually. Also Harry Potter, but this one is more cute. It's a magnetic bookmark of nearly headless Nick. This lady is from A Court of Thorns and Roses, if I'm not wrong. I'm really ashamed to say that I haven't read any of the series, but I plan to. The bookmark is from Bookmarky, out of Bookmark. I don't know how it's pronounced, but you can find it on Instagram. These two are clearly from the Avengers, and I'm on Iron Man's side. Last is an arrow-shaped Hunger Games bookmark. This is actually thick, so I don't really use it, and it's from the Mockingjay era. I also have notebooks. Guardians of the Galaxy notebook, it's mostly empty. The Maze Runner notebook. Percy Jackson Sea of Monster. Uh, this is a present from my big brother. It's a sketchbook of Wonder Woman and it's mostly empty because I can't draw. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I did not buy it. It's a souvenir. That's why I didn't get Iron Man and Avengers Captain America. I made this actually just the cover. I also have Twilight Binders with customized cover front and back. Finally, we've reached the end of this video and the last items are bags and wallets and pouch and everything. These pouch are Hunger Games related, both are souvenirs from different era, I believe. This was from Mockingjay and Catching Fire. Onto the bags, I have Divergent Ally Giant, Avengers Infinity War, Suicide Squad. This is a DIY I made for a school project when I was a senior in high school. This is ugly, but yeah. Yeah. The Hunger Games string bag. 
a fantastic reason where to find them. And the final product is the Hunger Games sling bag. So yeah, that is the end. That is all the end of my video. I hope you have fun during quarantine and stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share it to your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.